In recent years, sports have been drawing great attention as a tool to promote social participation of diverse people, including persons with disabilities, as well as being recognized as the source of meaning of life and a way to enhance self-esteem. In this video, the way how to utilize the sports is introduced as a means to promote social participation of persons with disabilities. In recent years, the concept of sports development and peace has been advocated and suggesting that sports can be a tool for development and peace. Here are three key elements related to sports and development. Sport development. Development related to sports. Development by sport. Human development through sports. Development through sport. Social development through sports. Let's take a close look at each case. Sport development is to promote sports itself. Cultivate potential grassroots layer of athlete population and provide more opportunities to participate in sports. Here, we are introducing one successful case of sports promotion for persons with disabilities in Iwate Prefecture. In Iwate Prefecture, one project has been implemented to create more opportunities for children and adults with disabilities who live in this community to help them to do more outing by applying inclusive sports. The Iwate Prefecture Sports Association for Persons with Disabilities has been organizing instructional workshops on inclusive sports called Takyu Volley in various areas of the region since 2013. Takyu Volley is a game in which a team of six people sitting in chairs and rolls a ping pong ball containing a small metal ball using a table tennis table and returns the ball to the opponent's court within three strokes. Mr. Miura, who played a central role in introducing Takyu Valley to Iwate Prefecture, has part of this project. Recalls some project outcomes as follows. When I first encountered Takyu Valley, I was really shocked. And at the first time when I played this game, participants were only persons without disabilities. There were no persons with disabilities. However, the excitement and fun we had when we played this game were really unbelievable, and we enjoyed it like children. When I saw this game, I thought if we could promote this game as a sport for persons with disabilities who usually find it difficult to participate in other sports, it would be great opportunity and very interesting to have fun together. Also, this game can be played with sitting in a chair, so persons with severe disabilities can also join easily. And since Takyu Vale is such a fun game for non-disabled persons, I quickly thought that it could be a great chance to promote the idea of inclusive society by playing this sports together among persons with and without disabilities. At the Takyu Vale tournament held in February 2023, it is said that about a half of the participants were persons with disabilities, regardless of age and gender, not only those with quadriplegia, but also those who are totally blind also participated. And through this Takyu Valley tournament, the entire community is energized. One of the exciting part of Takyu Valley as an inclusive sport is that it is not uncommon for teams consisting of only elderly people to beat teams of young people sometimes. Development by sports means using sports to empower and develop individuals. It focuses more to people. Here, we will introduce the case to support the social participation of persons with disabilities in Laos. Asian Development with the Disabled Person ADDP, is a non-profit organization with a headquarter in Itabashiku, Tokyo, and a branch office is located in Laos. In such environment, ADDP is promoting sports and employment for persons with disabilities as twin track approach. Through promoting sports among persons with disabilities, 
They are greatly motivated and gained confidence from sports and the spirits of independence are also nurtured. After this empowerment process, ADDP provides work support and vocational training for persons with disabilities and help them to lead socially independent livings. Through those experiences, ADDP has collected data and with those evidences, it proved that the willingness and desire to work among persons with disabilities who particularly practice sports are much higher than that of persons with disabilities who don't practice sports. In fact, many para-athletes in Laos have achieved employment and it indicates that the motivation to work and sports among persons with disabilities are integrated tightly. ADDP also provides a virtual work environment where vocational training trainees with disabilities can put their acquired skills into real business practice. This is where the trainees can learn real life business and also it helps them to start their own businesses. Development through sports. What is social development through sports? Development through sports means to use sports as a mean to solve social issues. Here, we introduce initiatives aimed at improving the social status and empowerment of women through sports in Tanzania. In Tanzania, the belief such sports are only for men is deeply integrated among society and opportunities for women to participate in sports were extremely limited. In 2017, the first women's athletics competition in the country, called Ladies First, was organized by JICA and the National Sports Council of Tanzania. Side events were also held at the competition venue and events featured such contents including health checkups, guidance on the use of menstrual products, and awareness raising on violence prevention against women and children. Brochures were also distributed to children visiting the venue to raise awareness on preventing sexual harassment and early pregnancy and to emphasize the importance of protecting themselves. This initiative aims to foster opportunities for women to participate in sports spontaneously and to create a safe society in which they can perform and be active through sports. Those three cases demonstrate that promoting sports is not just about the sport itself, but can also achieve social development and peace through sports. How can we create a society where no one is left behind, including persons with disabilities through sports? Since 1993, JICA has been conducting a training course focusing on sports for persons with disabilities and nurturing worldwide the leaders in adapted sports. The purpose of this KCCP is to acquire skills that can solve social issues which hinder the social participation of persons with disabilities by utilizing sports as a tool. In the actual training program, participants learn not only about sports but also to learn about what kind of challenges faced by persons with disabilities towards their social participation. By learning about such challenges, we can utilize the sports as a tool to solve such issues. For example, to create opportunities for persons with disabilities for outing, empower persons with disabilities who participate in sports and raise awareness of sports for persons with disabilities, by learning such general and wide scopes of sports activities for persons with disabilities, it leads to change the bias against persons with disabilities and enable to learn such deep layer of social structure. Let's look at the actual training. JICA Tokyo Center At JICA Tokyo Center, a sports trainer training was conducted. Training contents include the guidance how to use wheelchair. In order to use a wheelchair in daily living, participants learn how to provide guidance from the perspective of wheelchair users, starting with basic technique, learning such as how to push the wheelchair, apply the brakes, turn corners, and pick up small items from the floor, as well as how to assist the user. This is a technique called caster lift, which enables wheelchair users to overcome a small five centimeter step this technique can not only expand the daily activity range of 
wheelchair users, but also change their lives completely in some cases. The training content is not just about techniques, but also being granted to learn about positive effect, such what kind of change is brought to the lives of wheelchair users psychologically, and what this wheelchair is meant for persons with disabilities. Additionally, participants also learn about important points to keep in mind when providing wheelchair operation guidance to persons with disabilities, such as the line of sight towards persons with disabilities while teaching and how to build mutual trust. Discussion session based on how to interact with persons with disabilities was also coordinated and Ms. Moeno Hayashi, wheelchair user, was invited as a moderator of discussion. I feel grateful about uh, Japan, the, they share this knowledge that we really gain a lot about disability, how, they, how, they, how we want to modify the games for them and how actually Japan's knowledge from the big district, from the whole country, they, how do they go down from the prefecture and they implement this knowledge. So we actually, I, I feel like I gain a lot of knowledge, like today we, we learn how to use a wheelchair and how to be a coach so that we can bring back our country and teach our small young children. I never know I can do this. I, we need to take this opportunity. I really appreciate this opportunity. Like every second I'm here to learn from you all. Riku Zen Takata City, Iwate Prefecture. In this city, a Takyu volleyball tournament was held and JICA participants who came to Japan also joined. Through the exciting match with local residents who came from various different age and disability groups, JICA participants could learn about inclusive sports through their actual practices. I think participants who come here for JICA training are from developing countries and they might have similar challenges to those in Iwate Prefecture. For example, there are such persons with disabilities who do not have any means of transportation to facilities, or some people may believe that there are no sports that can be played due to certain types of disability. We are thinking that we need to create an environment where people can participate easily in sports in their local community, and we do think Iwate Prefecture needs such environment. Taki Valley which does not require large-scale facilities or funding like Paralympic sports, and it can be considered an inclusive sport that is relatively easy to promote. It is also one of the few sports in which all participants can enjoy themselves together regardless of age, disability, and whether they are in the same team or opponent teams. What is the most important is that we sharing the experience from the different country, from uh, uh, Malawi, from uh, Laos, from uh, uh, Malaysia. So this is a great program to know each other, but also to share our best experience and to learn. Through these activities, the participants gain necessary ideas how to apply adaptive sports in their own countries. Upon the completion of training course, they are expected to formulate action plans to be implemented in their respective countries after their return home. Now how those ex-JICA participants who have completed the training course are contributing in their own countries. Let's take a look of Uzbekistan and Thailand as examples. At the Chinabad Sanatorium, where Mr. Shokruk has been volunteering, the Japanese origin inclusive sport of Takyu Volley has become very popular. After returning his country, Mr. Shokruk introduced Takyu Volley to his sanatorium. A Takyu Volley room was set up and since medical staff and patients have been playing Takyu Volley, some physical and psychological effect among patients were positively observed. Currently, he is also conducting research on Taki Valley along with Mr. Rashid, who also participated in the 2020 JICA training course. Uh, for, for success, it is uh, the cognitive uh, abilities is developed. 
Secondly, the mother uh, parent is getting funny, uh, eliminating the stress. So I, I think these two successes I get, maybe. Yeah. Furthermore, Mr. Shokruk has continued his efforts to promote this sport by appearing on nationwide TV program to promote the effectiveness of Takyu Valley and working hard to mobilize the fund to promote more sports for persons with disabilities, demonstrating impressive appeals, utilizing the knowledge gained from JICA training course. Thailand, Bangkok, October 2022. A follow-up training program for the JICA KCCP Promotion of Social Participation of Persons with Disabilities Through Sports was held at APCD, Asia Pacific Development Center on Disability. After returning their respective countries, the participants presented their implemented action plans, how they utilized the knowledge and skills they acquired during the training courses from 2019 to 2021 and showcased their achievements. The program also provided a new learning and good interaction opportunities among participants. Uh, the first year can be in the violation because uh, I am a person with disability and uh, I can do and I can introduce that they inspire not only person with disability themselves but person without disability to they got in the violation that the second year they enjoy with my second because uh, they feel that they happy with my physical activity that I provide and they would like to discriminate more and more. The third point is about the uh, knowledge creation that person with disability can do, can be facilitator, have some idea to discriminate at the activity that I provide to their colleagues, their network. APCD, which partnered in realizing this follow-up training, is very active in promoting the social participation of persons with disabilities in the Asia-Pacific region. We spoke with Samchai Rungsil, the APCD Community Development Manager, about the changes brought by Mr. Wacharapol by participating in this training. That uh, after the JFB, uh, Mr. Wacharapol come back and uh, finish the training course uh, conducted by JICA. So we have more wider view related to this VT inclusive sports. So within ABCD, we can develop more activities to develop person with disability, their parents, their teachers, and other pastors in order to promote a disability inclusive sport in our region. After completing KCCP, the participants can use the knowledge they have learned to engage in actual activities in their own countries. Then, after implementation of activities, they will repeat the process of learning and action and build more confidence through this process. The knowledge they have learned is expected to lead to promotion of social participation of persons with disabilities. Sports contribute to the elimination of prejudice and discrimination against persons with disabilities and through the accumulation of successful experiences gained by practice of sports, persons with disabilities can more enhance their confidence and self-esteem towards their own abilities and eventually this strength leads their independence. Sports also contribute to strengthening the bond between people who play the sports together and it becomes the driving force to overcome any difficulties. JICA strives for realizing a peaceful society where everyone, regardless of gender, age, culture, social and economic status, and disability, can enjoy sports and lead a happy and fulfilling life through it.